Hey, YouTube. This is Rose. Pertaining to Rose. I want to tell you about my pet alligator. Let me tell you. I was pretty little when I had a pet alligator. I think you're going to like this story. So I guess I was probably about eight, maybe eight years old. And my younger sister at that time, she might have been about three and a half, four years old. We were about four and a half years apart. Uh, my dad was an over-the-road truck driver. My mother was a stay-at-home mom at that time. Back then, that's normally what mothers did. Not a whole lot of them worked. Uh, or at least most of them on our street did anyway. But my dad called one time when he was down in Louisiana and said, what do you use girls want for a present? And of course, I just learned about alligators in school. I said, I want a pet alligator. He did. He brought us home a pet alligator. In a big boot box. It had holes cut into the top. Yeah. Big rubber band around it. And he said, now listen, girls. Whatever you do, do not open the box. Alligators bite. They have teeth. So he left again. Another truck driving trip. He was over the road. So he was gone, maybe about three weeks. Meanwhile, me and my sister got creative about how to feed the alligator. You know, it's stuck in that box. It's got to eat somehow. First, we stuck grass in there. We just lift up a corner and stuff some down in there. But then we started deciding we need to look up, find out what alligators eat. They eat meat. Well, let me see. We had to dig through the fridge and get out some raw hamburger and stuff it down into the, the holes in the box or flip the corner up and shove the raw hamburger down there. Well, we kept our pet alligator in our room. Figured he must be getting big in that little box by now. He's been eating an awful lot of raw hamburger, raw chicken, whatever we could find, we would throw in there. So after about three weeks, my my father come home from his truck driving job, and he's walking through our bedroom. He had to walk through our bedroom to get to his bedroom, and he smelled something stinky. So he started looking around, and he found the box. That's my pet alligator in it. So he brings it down to the kitchen, and he says, what's in the box? I said, my pet alligator's in the box. I think we named him Lucy. I can't remember. I think his name is Lucy. But anyways, he goes, why does uh, your pet alligator Lucy smell? I said, I don't know. I don't think it's eating all the meat we're giving it. And he looked at me funny. He goes, you're giving it meat? I said, yes, that's what alligators eat. Everybody knows that now, right? Alligators eat meat. So he takes off the rubber band and us girls are like all scared and worried that the alligator is going to come out and get us. And he opens up the box and he reaches in real slow and he picks up the alligator and then he throws it at us. It was rubber. It was a rubber alligator for three weeks. Me and my little sister were feeding a rubber alligator. And all that raw meat in there spoiled. That's what my dad was smelling. All the meat in there. It was spoiled rotten. <laughs> Chicken, hamburger, dead grass, all kinds of stuff. It was just rotting up. The whole kitchen smelled after he opened up that box. But let me tell you, I love my pet alligator. Yeah, I think I had her for a day before the dog got a hold of her and chewed her tail off. We had a gun retriever. He loved the pet alligator too, apparently. Yeah, it was rubber. It wasn't real at all. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you that little short story about me growing up. Give you a little insight about where I got this brain. <laughs> me and my pet alligators. If you have a funny pet story, tell me about it in the comments. I want to hear it.
I could tell you quite a few. Let me tell you, the pet alligator takes them all. To this day, when I go to family reunions, my aunts and uncles still remind me about the pet alligator. They're like, where's... What, whatever happened to your pet alligator? Oh, well, I love you guys. I just want to do a short one today. I'm actually working. I am doing some stuff. Getting things done. Going out to the secret house later. Got some more, more work to do. I can't wait till it's finished. And then we can start the tiny house. I want my tiny house. I'm so excited. I know it's going to be a while before it gets started. Ugh. All the kids were home today. Sick. Oh, no. <laughs> so, this is, I finally got some quiet time to shoot out one here. I hope you like the alligator story. Definitely, if you're not subscribed, do so now. I love you guys. Make sure you like this video. When you like it, it helps me out. When you comment, that really helps me out. I definitely will check out your videos. I don't do sub for sub. If I don't like your videos, I'll be nice and I'll comment and I'll like it. But if I'm not one that's going to watch your video, I won't sub. But I do appreciate you guys subbing to me. I will go on and check your videos out. I have subscribed to a few of them. You know, I do love you guys. I really, really do. Just keep it all polite. Let's just keep going. We are going to grow together. Us and all of our pet alligators. You have a wonderful, beautiful day. Love you, YouTube. Bye.